Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to open the Taste of Home special delivery box. It's a quarterly box and it's based on kitchen gadgets, cooking, things like that. I got the Christmas one last quarter and it came with a gingerbread cookie mix, some cookie cutters, some crafting books which was fun, and a few little odds and ends to help with baking. So. This is the first one for 2020. It is, I, I was charged $52, so I'm not sure if it was $49.99 in tax. The first one I got was $35, and I'm not sure if that was like a special first box offer, because I was a little surprised when I got charged $52 for this one. But this was here within seven days of them charging me, so I didn't, get charged and have to wait a month for it to show up. It's here. So I'm going to open it and let's see what's inside. Okay. Opening up the, all I see right now is some tissue paper. It says happy cooking and it says it's curated and approved by the Taste of Home Test Kitchen, which is a brand that do cookbooks and magazines and all kinds of things like that. They, they even have a really nice website. So, we're going to check it out. Alright. Okay, on top, it's letting you know it's the winter delivery box. And they're trying to make it like grandma. It looks like a lot of it's going to be based like soup, wintry things. Touch all of what's in it, so we'll refer to that when I'm lost about what I'm looking at. And let's look. Okay, they always give you an envelope of some recipe cards. Okay, here's a recipe card. Here's a recipe card. They are Oreo and candy cane chocolate bark. That sounds delicious. Honey bourbon hot chocolate. That sounds really good too. Your basic homemade bread makes two loaves. Citrus cranberry pie. That sounds good. A little tart sounding. Hummingbird cupcakes. I've heard of these, I haven't tried them yet, but maybe now's the time to do that. Onion garlic biscuits, that sounds delicious. And Greek garlic chicken, wow, that sounds good. Maybe we'll make that here on the channel. If you want to see me make any of those on my channel, I'm happy to try them out right on camera for you. Just comment below which one sounded good, interesting, and we'll do it. Okay, put this to the side. Alright, first thing I'm seeing is this Rocker Garlic Crusher. Next time I have to cut some garlic on this channel, let's try it out and see how it goes. Looks like you just rock it back and forth and the bowl collects the garlic. Have you used one of these? It's different. I've seen garlic pressed before. This is one I have not seen anything like before. Here's the sugar-free Werther's Original Chili Caramels. One of my favorite things. Oh yay! Some extra strong cupcake or muffin papers. I guess you don't need a muffin pan. It's supposed to be sturdy enough that you don't need them. And there's a little recipe on the back. So if you don't have a muffin pan these probably a good alternative. I do have one, but I might try this. Oh, yay! Measuring spoons. I use so many measuring spoons, as you know. We'll just add this to the collection. Oh, they're shaped like little bun cakes. How cute is that? It is so neat. Little tiny, yeah, bunt, me bunt measuring spoons. They go between an eighth of a teaspoon to a tablespoon. All right. Okay. Now we're going to have to look at the, the book. This is a Talisman Design One Piece Adjustable Pie Shield. Oh. It says, if you've ever gently wrapped multiple pieces of foil around your pie crust to protect it, only to have the pieces shift and fall off in the oven or on the countertop, 
You will appreciate this smart tool. Use it to protect fresh and frozen pie crust from overbrowning. It adjusts to fit dishes from 8 to 11.5 inches. So that's neat. Oh yeah, it's silicone. So it's just another, it's just a neat little pie shield. Still more. Okay, so this is in a box. Oh, wow. How nice. It's a pastry cutter and a pastry shield. Good for scraping and it's actually, this is a pretty versatile one. It's good for scraping and for cutting and that's really nice. I like this. This is going to be very useful. Okay. Oh, there's still more. Okay. Oh, look at this. It's a trivet, but it's a folding trivet. So it collapses. It stores really easily, but it'll protect your counter and your tabletops. That's neat. I'll use this. Oh. There's some yeast. That would be useful. I guess I'd have given that to you for the bread recipe that's in the recipe cards. Yeast is something I use a lot of. Okay, so here's the book. It always comes with a book. Actually, last quarter came with two books, two different similar books. Put this down for a sec. A Taste of Home, Grandma's Favorites. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, what is that cake? 475 classic recipes. Oh, oh. There's like a meatloaf, but then there's some other goodies. My grandmother used to love Taste of Home. I actually have some of her Taste of Home cookbooks that I inherited. And they have some of her notations on the side. It's really neat. Oh wow, some stuff in here I've never heard of. Corn pudding. Four cheese lasagna. Oh my goodness. And then there's some orange and red onion salad. I am intrigued. Maybe we'll go through this cookbook soon. And if you're interested in seeing some of Grandma's recipes on this channel, please give me a like or comment below and then subscribe because you won't be able to see it if you don't see the notification. Well, that was good. So, like I said, it was about $50. I think it is more than $50 worth of things. The book by itself retails for $26.99 and I mean... I imagine everything else probably equals to more than $25 because there's a lot of things in there. So I am pleased with this box and I intend to continue to get more of these quarterly. So stay tuned for that. I'm coming back real quick to add that there is a bonus item in here and that was the Werther's sugar-free cherry caramels or the yeast. And I ended up with both somehow. I paid for this box, so I got a lucky two bonus items, so that's okay. <laughs> I got more recipes coming up, so subscribe so you can see what's coming up next. Y'all have a great day. Bye.